Two real Rancho teens who should have been in class ended up being in the right place at the right time, keeping a devastating house fire from turning deadly. News 13's Annalisa Pardo talked with the Cleveland High seniors, and she has their story. Well, Sophie and Brooke say they were sitting in a car outside Sophie's house on Friday when they smelled something burning. They quickly learned a neighbor's house just off Highway 528 in Rio Rancho was on fire. For 18-year-old Brooke Curley and 17-year-old Sophie Scherter, last Friday was like any other. We heard, like, help, help, and it was uh, Mary, like, my neighbor. They ran over to find Mary in her yard, her home in flames. That was pretty scary, and hearing uh, Mary, like, yelling for help, that was, I never thought that I would, like, hear, like, panic like that. Mary's husband and dog were still in the house. The two teens didn't wait for first responders before jumping into action. We had to go in the house to like help him out. He was like about to pass out inside. Like you could tell it was like it was getting to him. They got him out safely. Seeing like the fire upstairs and downstairs and there was some, like something that blew up while we were like trying to get him away from the door. It was pretty bad. Before flames took over the home, the couple was safe. The teen's parents proud. She has always had a heart for people in need, so it makes total sense to me that she wouldn't have hesitated. I'm in awe of, of them, actually. This charred house frame and pile of burnt memories are all that's left of the couple's home. It was like hard to hear like how people like have to recover, like how long it's going to actually take, like just to get like glasses, prescriptions, like more clothes. It makes me feel like really bad, but I'm glad that we were able to like get them out of there. While the couple made it out, Rio Rancher Fire and Rescue say the couple's dog died in the house fire. Back to you. All right, Annalisa, thank you. The couple was taken to the hospital after that fire, but they are both expected to be okay. The cause of the fire is still under investigation.